So welcome to our tutorials and exercises on development of surfaces. Uh, so we want to develop a square prism with a base length of 30 millimeters and a height of 50 millimeters. So that is something simple for us to begin with. Now we can begin this exercise with the assumption that uh, the top view is seated on the uh, on the horizontal plane and its sides are parallel to the vertical plane and definitely the front view for that matter is going to be on the uh, vertical uh, vertical plane okay so we can begin by drawing the top view or the base using the rectangle too so we click here on rectangle and uh, we can click anywhere on screen so i'll click and for the length i'm putting 30 hit tab on my keyboard and then 30 for the height and that will give me my base I hit enter and then I still can use the same rectangle to draw the top view so I'm going to just track this point so make sure uh, your tracking is on so I'll track that point and then any position here I'll just click and then you know i could track this point just to get the just to get the length of the height uh, because that will be 30 and then i can hit tab on my keyboard and for the height i put in 50 and enter and this will be the orthographic views required for me to um, draw or uh, to develop the square prism so at this point i think we can label some of the vertices so within annotation i can drop down and select single line tests and where do i want to uh, type in maybe here i don't want to be disturbed by the snaps so i can turn the snap off for this exercise and then uh, click in there it will ask me for the height i'll use three and enter i'll be asked to specify the angle of rotation i'll say zero and enter so what i want to type in there is one i basically want to label the corner points or yes the corner point of the base so that is one um, and then click somewhere around here Put in two and then three and four okay and then on the outside uh, maybe we can label those with alphabets so maybe uh, a b c and D. Now the the labeling that I've done in the interior represents you know the top view of the prism and then the labelings that I've done on the outside represent the base you know they are all going to be coincident at the same point okay all right so that is the import of the labeling there I can click on this hold that and then drag it in a little bit and you can also do same to reposition your labels okay so now on the base so from the base to the top view uh, obviously looking at the uh, looking at the projection of this lettering on the front view you'd see that one and four will coincide at the bottom two and three 
will coincide at this point and then AD will be at the top and BC going to be at this corner so we can do that yeah, same labels so I'll just click on this and then see you for copy I will just uh, click to select this point and then uh, position this here so one there and then position another one okay so I can position another one here and the last one uh, there hit escape and like I said the numerals represent the uh, the base so at this point I'm going to have uh, points one and four coinciding it means I would have two and three there and here I'd have A and D and on this point I'm going to have B and C then I can hit escape now you can click on the test and then move them around a little bit to align them if you need to do that okay so now I can do the development on the side <coughs> to do the development of the side I would have to project this length which is a true length so I project it so what that what I'm doing is that I have to spread this base out to get a flat surface because mind you development is basically flat surfaces okay so I can click on line and then um, turn on my object snap and then I want to track this point so I can track that point maybe some good distance like here and click and then move downwards track the the, uh, the point uh, two three but I need this line to be perfectly vertical so I can go to the status bar and turn on the auto mode okay and then track two three and click right so that is the true length from the side now the base what I need to be if I should spread um, the base out I'm going to get the circumference of this base so what that means is that if I click on line I will need to measure this distance which is A to B so we know that A to B is 30 and uh, B to C is 30 C to uh, D is 30 and then finally uh, from D back to A is another 30 so that will be uh, the prism spread out for us on a flat surface so this height I know is 50 and then I can connect this to that okay so now I can I know where uh, I know the length of the size so from A to B right so I can click back on line and then this will be the end point of the line AB so I can click from here and connect it to that point now make sure you get the uh, you make sure that your line is perfectly vertical if object snap is still on you can go and track from this end or track from that end right so I can track that point when I see this X I can click and that will be uh, the first uh, fold that is a B or the first side and then uh, L enter so from this point you know up up until this point will be 
the side BC and then what I did was just hit escape and start the line tool again with L enter and then from this point to that point I'll just track from here and then click so this will be the side uh, This will be the four sides required for the square prism if it's uh, open. Okay, so uh, I can now label them. So we know that the label for the bottom was the numerals and then the ones for the top are the alphabets. So I can do just that um, now. Let me just copy. So click on B and then C O for copy. So I'll just copy uh, that from. Let me turn off the top just snap. So I'll just click maybe this bottom part of B. Then I'll have to turn off the auto mode as well. So I'll click to position them. Hit escape and then I'll now edit them. So this should be A. I'm just using the uh, capital or the uppercase uh, to differentiate um, the lettering on uh, on the various views. And then this should be one. Okay, so this is basically it. Now, don't forget that what we have here represent the sides of the prism. So there is the top and then the bottom. Now, the top and the bottom basically uh, will have the same dimension as the base. So we can get a line. And then at any of the convenient, uh, any of the convenient points, we can draw in the the base and the top so I can click here in between two and three so in between two and three so uh, still 30 and then 30 then back to three and I can do the same thing on the top So line once more. Thirty. Let me turn on the auto mode so that I'm sure my line is horizontal. Thirty. Then thirty. Let me move this. Okay, so for the label, so I have B, C. So B, C, I mean this point will be D. So let me just select that. So C, O click here 
we move that let me turn off the auto mode so one here and one there so b c d that means this should be um a Okay, so I'll copy this. So click on it, see you for copy. And then click here, move that there, and then position another one here. Hit escape. So two, three, that means this will be four. Four. And then one. Right. So this basically will be our solution now we can go to annotation and then power dimension and we click on power dimension and then uh, so let's make sure our snaps are on so i snap to that point click and then click the move to my left and click uh, to position the dimension and then i can do the same so click here and uh, click there move to my left and then position the dimension hit escape and that is that for now Okay, so this will be our final solution.